The significance, the, the goal, uh, is to uh, get the interest uh, of the young people, and I think perhaps even more to show them that uh, really successful scientists are just like people just like they are. That is to say, there's no uh, large barrier between the young person uh, who is uh, just starting out uh, and maybe from another culture uh, uh, between such a person and, 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 and me. Uh, what's somehow special here is that uh, these young people uh, often have not had the interaction with uh, world-class scientists, or at least in some cases have not. Um, so they don't realize that uh, they are, they know a lot, that they too can create and to uh, can solve problems. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, I get uh, a postdoc, let's say, from an Asian country. Typically, that person is very well trained. Uh, what can I teach them? Well, in fact, what they really learn from me is good taste in the choice of problems. Mm -hmm. All problems in science are difficult because you have to get it right. Not because the concepts are so difficult, but because you have to get it right. Uh, so it takes work, it takes constant focus, it takes, uh, it takes time. Uh, and you can, you can choose a problem uh, such that after it's all done, uh, the impact will be relatively small. Or you can choose a problem where for perhaps the same amount of work or even less, um, one can have uh, a major impact. Now, it's not obvious, and it's not something you can teach from a book. Uh, so it's, uh, that's, that's what we call mentorship. It looked like a, uh, an interesting opportunity. I have great respect for uh, Professor Osaki. Uh, I have uh, benefited greatly from uh, young students from Asia. I know the potential uh, of these people, and I know the contributions that they are capable of. Uh, so if I can perhaps uh, make it clear that they are, they are ready to go and that they can make important discoveries, uh, okay. then I'm making an important contribution to their lives and to, and to science. They often they seem to be very worried about uh, the cost of doing science, uh, and, I, and one understands why. But uh, there are experiments, I mean, or there are areas of science that are still tabletop experiments where still a good idea uh, can, can lead to an important discovery. And I tried to get that across uh, with some examples. There's talent everywhere. There's no question about that. What we have to do is enable them, and not just by giving them a piece of equipment, but letting them understand that they can aspire to greatness. From the beginning, my earliest memories, um, I was always told I could do anything I wanted, that there were no limits. Uh, creativity was encouraged. Uh, I actually believed that. One of, the, one of the really sad things I run into now and then is young people who, who see their lives as very limited. They don't have an aspiration to do something special. Um, so opening up the idea of the, the minds of, a, of, of young people, uh, for example, who are here, it changes the, what, what, what they, how they approach their science, they say. I can actually do it. Success in science is a combination 
of creativity and discovery. So I would tell you to cherish creativity and I would advise you to have the audacity to actually believe that you can discover something. Now, discovery and creativity imply leadership, moving out in front, going beyond where other people have already gone. That kind of uh, leadership, that kind of uh, step forward uh, re involves risk. But dealing with that risk is part of the thrill and the satisfaction of a life in science. So uh, be willing to take the risk, cherish creativity, and believe that you, you can, uh, can discover.